I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And the way that I do that, one of the features of Filmstar is these little modules that we can open up. One, two, three, four, five, and six. These are basic files that were made um, by myself and uh, FT, FTG software. Going into tools and macro commands, we can see here that I've set number five and number six. Number five is import Hunter Lab Spectra. And this is where the file sits. That's where I opened it up from. And we can see that in Excel. And number six is fix AR Hunter Lab data. And this is uh, a basic file that was written so that it takes the spectra that we imported from the Hunter Lab and uses that to correct for, um, to get back into the process that we want to run, a good process. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and run number five. I want to import that Hunter Lab spectra. And for this webinar, this example, I'm just going to use L1679. That's a run that I ran. It's I can tell by looking at it, the color is slightly off, and I don't like it. But I want to see what the problem is and maybe bring that um, process back into spec. Okay. Obviously, the first thing we want to do when we have a bad run is look for anything obvious. Maybe the setup was wrong. Maybe uh, something was wrong with the coding machine. Uh, we don't want to fix a run, a bad run, if we know what the problem was and it was just set up, if it was operator error, uh, a bad crystal, whatever the case may be. So we want to run that again. Maybe if you feel the need, we'll run a test run just to make sure that uh, it wasn't the machine problem, it wasn't a bad process. Um, but what I have here is L1679, a bad run, and it looks like I want to fix that. Okay, so I'm importing that data, L1679, and I'm going to redraw that. And there's 679 from my Hunter Lab, which is right here. You can see that there. And I'm going to copy this spectra. Now this data that I have written here or showing, this graph here that I have showing in Filmstar, is just data points. It's not a, uh, an actual a design file that I can recalculate or, or um, uh, fix inside of Filmstar. So I have to take the spectra right up top here and copy that data. And then I want to be able to use that data and I go into Evaluate, go into the Interactor function. And that brings up this window here, this function in Filmstar, where I can interact with the actual design itself, with the parameters of the design and the process that I've, I've made myself. One thing I want you to see at the bottom in the right-hand corner is this design here will give us a color output. And right down here in the right-hand corner, we can see what that color is. It's really, really dark, actually. Um, and what I need to do is make that look more real. And I go into Evaluate, RGB Reflection Boost. I'm going to call that 100. I want to make it as bright as we can for this, for this particular webinar. And we can see it's brightened right up. It's still the same color value, still the same LAB or RGB color. Um, but it's just brightened it up and it looks more real from what we, uh, to what we actually see in the lab. Okay, so this is our design. And I've copied the spectra um, from the sample uh, that I've taken out of Hunter Lab. And so I want to paste that data into here. And so now it shows the overlay of our design, the process that we want to run and the sample that I want to correct for. And you can see down in the right-hand corner, it's added. Now it has both colors that we can compare. And we can see that difference. We can actually go into Evaluate and do our RGB, our red, green, blue comparator. And a little window pops up and shows those two different colors. 
it's a nice way of actually seeing a good comparison of those two colors. Okay. The one in the middle is our green color, and the one on the outside is the second one, our pasted data. And you can really see that actually. This one in the middle is more green, which corresponds to the the uh, spectrum that we're seeing uh, from our design, and this the pasted data from our sample is showing a lot more blue and you can see it's actually a lot more blue around there. Okay, So now we can compare those two. We can look at the uh, two different colors. We can determine whether um, this is a design that, or a, a process that maybe we can pass or not pass. Maybe we're okay with that and we can continue using it. And we can also actually measure different lenses. We all know that uh, when coating eyeglasses some lenses, most uh, lenses that are dipped CR39, they all come out the same color. But when we have polycarbonate that are spin coated, when we have high index um, uh, lenses, 1.74 plastic, and we dip that, <coughs> excuse me, when we dip that and then AR coat it, it's a little bit brighter of a color. It's a different color. And we can go in here and actually measure using the Hunter Lab a CR39 lens that has gone through the process and a 1.74 or a polycarbonate lens that has gone through the process. And we can actually see those two different colors and adjust for it if we want to. Okay? So this is how we use Interactor, uh, how we can compare colors, and how we put that data in from the Hunter Lab. So I'm going to go back out, and I do want to correct for this design, uh, this sample that I've, I've uh, measured using Hunter Lab, and I've decided I do want to correct for that. Okay, so I'm going to move back out and go back into our regular window for FilmStar. Oops, sorry about that. I'm going to uncorrect, uh, uncheck Interactor. So that brings us back into our regular window. If I calculate, that's the process that we want to see. That's the good, uh, the good design that we're using. And so I'm going to go into number six here, which is our fixed AR Hunter Lab data. I'm going to click that, and that brings up this little window here that allows me to select from that file the different samples that I've extracted out of or imported, uh, uh, exported out of uh, the Hunter Lab. So I'm going to go ahead and use L1679 again and click OK. And now you can see, let me get that back. So you can see a couple of things here. It shows the design, the one that we bought or purchased or, or I'm sorry, uh, set up ourselves, the measured, which is our sample data, and it's gone through a, um, an optimized function where it checks the layer thicknesses against the design layer thicknesses and adjusted for them to bring that uh, measured data down into the color or the design curve that we actually want to have here. And the first thing it does is pops up this little box here. If calculated and measured curves overlap, click OK. And the reason that box is there is we can see that our blue measured curve and our calculated green curve do overlap. If they don't overlap, the, dis the measured data is too far away from the design for Filmstar to actually calculate and give you the product. And it's actually not Filmstar's fault. It could be that your uh, process is so far off that we really need to go back and look at that process, look at the machine, make sure that all of our uh, data, all of our index and tooling factors, uh, the setup by the technicians uh, is all correct and start from scratch again. In this case, and really in most cases, what happens is that we're just a little bit uh, off of our um, design or our process. And as we can see here, it does match the two measured and calculated. And so I'm going to click OK. And what pops up here is layer 1, layer 2, layer 3, layer 4, and layer 5. And what we can do in order to adjust for those layer thicknesses in the machine that we just ran this process in, and bring that process back into a good color, a good product. 